hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm talking about the PS5. Now, not the PS5 itself. Why? Because apparently a store called Super 5, with a 3 instead of the E, was going to sell, like, all black PS5, like, custom made. I, I saw how they look, and to me, they look pretty good, right? They went out of stock almost on the site almost immediately, right? But there were some mess-ups. Like, it seems like people were charged, right? But they weren't actually getting any confirmation that they actually made the order. Like, they were charged, according to this, is like, without knowing if they had actually secured a system, right? Now, apparently, and this is a statement from, I'm assuming, an employee at the store, last night, our team began receiving credible threats to their safety, right? We take these threats seriously. We aren't willing to risk the safety and well-being of our team or the potential impact this would bring to delivering your order. So get this, they just canceled all now. I'm not sure if anyone got them. Maybe th maybe some people got them like earlier, but like basically now all orders are being refunded and the system is no longer being sold at all. That's what it literally says. They've apparently even deleted, deleted their Twitter page. And this just goes to show sometimes you push too hard and it causes you to not have what you can get. Guys, we need patience. Like. I understand that a lot of people want these new systems, the PS5 and whatnot, and especially since this version did kind of look better than the white version. But still, it's not worth threatening somebody. And I know that some people online tend to just say things that they probably wouldn't say in real life, and they don't really mean it. So maybe a lot of these threats, or at least maybe even all of them, weren't even meant by the people sending them. Maybe they are just, you know, sending them. So I'm not judging anybody here, but I got to give props to the company because I think most companies would have just talked about how they had threats and still sold out because like they sold out on the site almost immediately. I think most companies would have been thinking about that dollar bills, but this company was like, no, no, it is not worth the risk to our employees safety. And I got to give them props for that. They treated the lives of their employees more important than the money they were receiving because they could have easily just said, Hey, we're receiving threats and still fulfilled the orders. They're like, Nope, we're just canceling them now. We're not so selling it anymore. Sorry guys. Now, I'm not sure if some may have made it before this happened, but at this point, it seems like not being sold at all. So kudos to the company for treating their employees more important than getting a profit. I also could understand that some of you may have not been the ones to threaten the employees and stuff and may have still had your order canceled due to it. And we all know that sometimes a group is punished for the actions of a few members. We've, we've seen it. We know it. I mean, heck, COVID showed us that. A lot of... I think stuff that happened, like, um, what do you call it, restrictions that happened due to COVID were due to some people probably just doing some stupid stuff. And then they were like, okay, we just got to stop this from happening at all. And that's what sucks. That's, what, that's life. That's life. So if you guys are one of those people that unfortunately aren't going to get your black PS5 model at least now because it got canceled because some other people were threatening the employees' lives, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not your fault, but hey, such is life. Anyway. What do you guys think about the store actually saying, okay, we're not even going to sell it anymore because of some threats to the employee's safety? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and God bless you all.